Two days of hard driving, 2,000 miles covered. Where's the first place I go? Not a hotel, not a restaurant, a knife shop. Alright guys, so we are here at Blade Ops. This is really a really cool treat. This is my buddy Graham. What's hey, going Chris, on? Chris, how are you doing? Good, brother. So uh, what you got for me, man? We got a ton of knives. A ton of stuff to show you. Dude, let's get to it. So uh, what we got? We got a ton of knives here, Chris. I First see off, that. the Todd Bag Steelcraft series. Ooh. This made is... by Riat. This is nice. So you said this is a mid-tech front or a Collaboration with Riot or Riot knives? Yeah, I mean it, it, it's awesome blade because you're getting all the features, you're getting the styling. But if you can't afford the custom price, ooh, that's smooth. It's oh a yeah, gr great option. Dude, this is sweet. All right, man. What else we got? Tons so, of features. Looks like we got a ZT. Next up, ZT 0095 TS. That's a sprint run with a tiger stripe blade. Oh. <laughs> For me, that's kind of a mix between kind of the old school, the 350 tiger stripes exactly. with the new, you know, flipper ball bearing system, super smooth. That's pretty sick, guys. I like it. What do you guys think? Drop down in the comments, let me know how you dig that, man. That That is, that's kind of a good blending of new and old school. All right, so, uh, ooh, that next, one looks- Next up, Microtech Combat Trodon. This is the Bounty Hunter version. These just landed in the shop <laughs> today. Super big. Dude, you see that, guys? This is nasty. Bounty Hunter. And you guys know I love my Boba Fett too. Oh yeah. Oh, Star Wars, Star Wars nerd right here, guys. That's... Those will go quick. I mean, there's a limited run of those. They'll, they'll go quick. All right, guys. So while we have stuff here, while we're going through it, as we're talking about these knives, drop down in the comment section. Let me know which knives you actually want to see in some everyday carry video, do some individual reviews on. And uh, whichever gets the most responses, we're definitely going to make sure we try to bring those into the channel. So uh, what else we got, man? Chris, next up we have Microtech SOCOM Elite Signature oh, Series. Oh, dude. Tanto Blade. These have been like really popular. I mean, when they first came out, they were popular, but they... Wow, that is... Super smooth action on those, surprisingly. See, see I know that I know Microtech's mostly known as far as the uh, the the the, the um, out the fronts. That the OTFs they're, they're they're famous for that, but dude, guys, for a manual, this is this is dirty, like in a good way. This is this is slick. This, you said this is brand new, right? Yeah, brand new. These we've had the drop points in. This is a DLC uh, bronzed hardware Tanto blade. Those will those will go quick. Also, this is this is sick, guys. This, I might, whether you guys like this or not, I'm probably gonna get this. This is, this is screaming at me. Tonto, DLC coded, yeah. And uh, looks like we got a little guy right here. Uh, next up, these are a exclusive from Boker. Just got these in the first of the year. Mm -hmm. The uh, Kalishnikov, the sub autos. That's a sub two inch blade, California, legal. I'm not, I'm not it. a, I'm not the, this is a personal preference. There's probably gonna be plenty of people who see this. That dig, oh, that's some good action, dude. Super snappy action. That actually has the same spring as a full size, so really cool. Sub I was like, it's blade. got a nice uh, deep carry pocket clip, so if you, I mean, if you're digging EDC, but you don't like the big knives like me, man, this could be cool, especially, just make sure you check that uh, autos are legal in your state, but, dude, that's pretty cool. How much is this one? Uh, those go for 39, uh, 29.95. Actually, hold on, let me check with the guy. I was like, sub sub $30? That's crazy. That's freaking, that's dirty. That's cool, man. All right, so looks okay. like we got some fixed blades. Those are the folders. Totally. Got? I had to show you this. New from Benchmade. Um, this comes in a black DLC or an orange, a bright orange. Okay. Um, awesome. The Altitude fixed blade. Oh, that's different. I kind of, huh. It's not uncomfortable as I thought it would be. Like, it's, it's, it's. This would be a cool neck knife. I can dig it. So is this yeah, there's a, is that a sheath. for it? Comes super tight, so. So yeah, it looks like they designed that to be like a neck knife, ultralight carry for those backpackers, hikers, backpack hunters. Kind of thing, what's the steel on this? Uh, that's the S90V. The, what they did is everyone's going to this, you know, disposable blade, razor blade style, skinning blades. Right on. Uh, backpacking, outdoor, whatever, hunting. And Benchmade kind of went the other way. They said, hey, we're just gonna make super light, super steel fixed blade. Now, something I will tell you guys in the, for you guys watching, I thought we were gonna get some hot spots, but because of its, they beveled the edges and they rounded off, it's actually pretty dang comfortable. I, I made my own assumptions as first as soon as I saw it, but uh, 
I gotta say, this is this is actually pretty comfortable. And I love the little uh, carbon fiber scale there. I mean, that's just it's a it's a really it's nice detail. touch. So it looks like we got a big old mamma jamma right there. Next up, tops, El Chapo. El Chapo. Hack up some bones in the hunt trip with that, guys. Look at this. That is, mm, that's mean looking. It kind, of, it kind of reminds me of like the little brother to the El Chete, which uh, I think came out last year. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, is it still rocking the 1095? Yeah, 1095 tops, super solid. Basically your, your kitchen cleaver on steroids. Dude, this is mean, man. So yeah, guys, um, this is some of the new stuff that we're gonna check out. This is some stuff we're interested in. We're probably gonna pick up one or two anyway, but if there's anything specific that you guys see that you're really digging, uh, definitely drop down in the comments, like I said, let me know which ones you're interested in, and we'll do our best to uh, bring these to the channel so you guys can get a deeper dive on these bad boys. But uh, Graham, man, I appreciate your time, brother. Nice check.